Hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstruck Reviews. We're here in Peoria, Arizona, the Cowtown USA range with my friend Freddie Blish. Hey Jamil, good he, to see you. Freddie is the president and owner of the Robar Companies, but also he is an instructor at Gunsight. And today, Freddie, I'm this series that we're doing about training, you're gonna teach me how to properly present the pistol. People call it the draw but it actually is called a presentation, right? Correct, you know, Colonel Cooper called it the pistol presentation. And it is a motion, you know, should be done in one smooth motion, but we teach it in five steps. Okay. And so here's how the presentation will look. Uh, the first thing is you gotta keep, you know, kind of think of like having your hands almost like they were like a string about a, a foot apart, so that when your hands are moving, they move together. So the first step of the draw, uh, or the presentation is grip. And this is one of the most important part of the presentation is the grip. I wanna make sure I have a good grip on the pistol before it even comes out of the holster. So the first thing is grip. Notice how my support hand is moving right up here to my chest at the same time. So they're moving together simultaneously. Grip, so now I have the grip. Second step is clear. So I'm, all I'm doing is clearing the pistol from the holster. Now. This is where you'll see people that, you know, they'll try to mimic like the old Buscadero rigs or they'll have a drop leg holster in the military. We see so many of them wear them incorrectly because they'll wear them down by their knees. Well, the, 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 the top of their pistol frame should only be about maybe three inches below the, their belt holster if you're wearing a drop leg holster. Because the reason for that is you don't want it to be reaching way down here to grip it. You want it to be able to grip it right there. So it's grip, clear, and then we're gonna drop the elbow. When we drop the elbow, if you have a 1911 style pistol with the thumb safety, then that's where you also click it off. We used to use the, act, you know, the, the verbiage click, but now we emphasize drop because we wanna drop that elbow. Notice how, where my hands are located. See how my support hand is here, my, my pistol hand is here. Notice how close they are. That's gonna allow me to, when I go smack, smack my hands together here Otherwise, what we see people do is this hand is already out here, and then this hand is catching up to it. But if they're right here, I can smack them together. So, again, it's just grip, clear, drop, smack. Now the last step is present. On present, what I'm doing is my finger is coming onto the trigger, it's touching it, it's not pressing it yet, and as I'm tracking my sights all the way out to the target. So I'm tracking my sights, my sights are aligned, front sight press. And that's where I'm getting that shot. So when I come back, all it is is when I come back to the holster, I'm just coming back. When I get here, my safety goes back on, pistol rotates down and then drops in. So again, grip, clear, drop, smack, present, Press. All the way back. And I noticed something, Freddie, that a lot of people, I've seen them do this for competition and all that. We are not fishing, no. and we are not bowling. That's correct. You're pushing the pistol away from you. Exactly. I didn't see you do this or do this. That's exactly right. You'll see some folks, they'll, it's like casting a fishing rod. You know, they're, they're kind of cat, or they'll, or they're bowling it up like this. But instead, I'm just driving it, you know, the, the closest distance between two points is a straight line. And all I'm doing is I'm driving it straight to the target. And what's good about this is that if I have to start engaging from here, I can. I can, I can literally track my sights and engage threats from here if I need to. If I'm bowling it up like this, I really can't. And if I'm casting, I can't. Yeah, because you're actually looking at your front sight. I'm tracking my front all sight the all way the way through to... until you get there. That's exactly. You want to minimize any excess motion that you possibly can. You want it just to be a nice, smooth motion. So remember, the pistol presentation is one smooth motion, but taught in five steps. Okay, let me right, try it. Let's give it a try. Okay. All right, so I'll just, we'll walk you through it. So we'll say, when you're ready, grip. Notice again, the hands moving together simultaneously. Let's do it again. Grip, Rip. clear, drop, smack, present. Nice, and now coming back, it's the same motion coming back. 
all the way back, just like that. Okay, let me try one more time and see if I can do it. Grip, clear, drop, smack, present. Come on. I mean, let me try in one movement. Now and see if one I can do motion. It. I'm just gonna say go. Go. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Okay. Looks good. Well, let, guess what? Let's put some ammo in these magazines and let me try it with Let's live go. ammo. No more Memorex. Let's go live. Let's go. Let me go put some mag. Take these orange things out and put some <laughs> real ammo in there. Okay. Like every time we do, we load our pistol, we're going to do practice a pistol presentation. So let's go ahead and do that. We're there. I'm gonna lock the pistol back and properly load our pistol. Do a press check. Yep, yeah, there's ammo there. Okay, Freddy, guide me through the five steps. Okay, Jamil. By the numbers. By the numbers. Grip. Clear. Draw. Smack. Present. All right, here we go. Grip. Clear. Drop. Smack. Present. Let's do it again. Ready. Grip. Clear. Drop. Smack. Present. Grip. Clear. Drop. Smack. Present. On the command. Ready. Go. So, Furry, how did I do? You look good, Jamel. It looked like uh, you've done this a time or two. Yeah, I've done a couple of trips to gun site. So, Freddie, may I impose on you to stick around with us and give us more tips on the proper use and manipulation of handguns? Absolutely. I look forward to it, Jamel. Well, let's stay tuned for more for gun store reviews. And here with Freddie, he's going to give us a whole lot of instruction just the way it's properly done. So, stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.